My name is Sarah Sarbadam, the queen of healthy Latin cooking, the queen of healthy Latin living. Welcome. And let me start by saying that this video is going to be very descriptive on sexuality, dating, and intimacy. Okay, that being said. I just want to talk about my experiences with Grindr because the cute little friend that's been adoring my breasts, I met him on Grindr and he's a really nice guy. And I'm new to transitioning, new to, to transgender life, new to dating trans, new to making love as a trans woman. All of that is really brand new for me. But I got to learn with that one individual that adored my breasts that I really do like men who are going to love my breasts uh, more than they love my penis. And it really made me feel like a woman. So that was a marker for me in dating. So that's going to really be something that is very, very important to me. I'm not a top, not a bottom. I'm more of an oral side. There is a lot of power in being a top or being a versatile uh, partner with a man as a trans woman. But I have to say for me, I do feel more feminine and feel like a woman when a man is mainly top has no connection to my penis. Once a man starts asking me if I'm hung or this or that, it really just, it kind of turns me off. And it should not turn me off. With all of that being said, I'm on and off grinder a lot because it's like I can only take it for two or three days. I throw out the grinder net and just catch a couple and then reel it in and then shut it down. I then come off the app. I just got back on like maybe a day ago. And I met some really, really what seemed to be nice guys. And I would love to hear input from other trans women and cisgender women if you use Grindr, I don't know, or whatever dating app you may use, that it's really interesting. Like I prefer like wanting to meet men when we exchange photos that none of the photos that they've let me see of them is nude. I really prefer that. I put those type of men on a priority to meet. Men who show me their penis, but you know, everything's nude, nude, nude. I equate that, and if I'm wrong, I apologize, but I equate that to like sex addiction or porn addiction. And I certainly don't have any pictures of myself nude. I like to leave that to the imagination and I like to leave that to something that evolves over time. I have to say that I've met some nice men and it's been two of them with some casual sex, but I don't feel like the passion that I felt when I was dating and being one-on-one -on -one with a guy. There has to be some feeling there. And there has to be a sense of safety. I really like meeting guys on the dance floor, you know. We started dancing and love put us into our groove. As soon as we started to move, the music played as our bodies just swayed to the dance. And love set us up for romance. Yes, we discovered we are truly lovers. Magic from the very start. But love just can't be proven. Though we may be moving, even though we dance apart. I love that shit. I do. I love it on the dance floor, right? I want to dance with somebody. I want to feel the heat with somebody. Yeah.